Oh, hello. This is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak, and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Last night we had a great dinner, and because my son and I cooked together, something that I really enjoyed. My son loves sticks, so he cooked some ribeye sticks. And I cook a broccoli vegetable medley. Uh, at the end, we combine two of them together. Uh, this create a dish that's something for everybody. Uh, and then I create a large portion of fried rice with cauliflower leaves, stems, uh, carrots, as well as mushroom. Uh, with my fast cooking system, which include flavor chasing, advanced prepping, stir frying, and template-based cooking, uh, I can make this meal spontaneously, all from scratch in less than 30 minutes. And my son cooked the rib eye stick in a cast iron skillet. And he's really good in cooking sticks, and he picked the right cut. The result of the stick was tender and juicy. In my opinion, it is definitely superior than when you put them on a grill. Advanced prepping without any question is the key attribute of my fast cooking system. All you need to do is to prep once a week and you have enough uh, ingredients to cook for the rest of the week. Now I'm going to cook this dish with five different kinds of vegetables. I first found some carrots in my advanced prepping. I next locate some broccoli, which is the main ingredient of this vegetable medley. Next, I'm going to include some eggplant uh, in this dish. And then I found some mushroom in my advanced prepping that is all ready to be used. And last but not the least, I'm also going to include some okra in this dish. Uh, I'm going to cook this dish with my 14-inch Cucina stainless steel wok. I'm going to start with about 2 tablespoons of uh, canola oil. I'm going to heat up the oil in the highest setting of the stove until it starts to smoke gently. And then I turn on the heat and let it smoke for about 15 seconds. This is when the time the wok is being seasoned. It will then create a non-stick cooked surface. And I call this method spot seasoning. If you are not familiar with this method, you can take a look at this video. And the first ingredient that I'm going to add into the wok are some carrots. And this is followed by two cups of uh, eggplants. Uh, these eggplants frequently referred to either as Japanese or Chinese eggplants. Uh, they have a narrow and elongated shape. I purchased them at an Asian grocery store. Uh, I like them better because their skin is not as thick as the uh, traditional uh, American beauty variety. After stir frying them for about 30 seconds, I'm going to add uh, 4 cups of broccoli. Again, this is a demonstration of uh, sequential stir frying. I add the ingredients that I would like to cook the longest first to the wok. And this will help me to create the texture of each ingredient exactly the way how I like them. As you can see, all of these food ingredients uh, absorb quite a bit of oil. And at the bottom of the wok, there has no oil left at all. The oil provides a buffer for the temperature. And when the wok has no oil left on the surface, uh, it gets really hot. So at this point, you want to turn down the heat so that the food ingredients will not get burned. I'm going to add a small amount of water to control the temperature of the wok. I'm going to use the water squeeze bottle because this will allow me to have better control of how much water that I want to add. Because by adding small amount of water, I will not have water sit at the bottom of the wok. Because as soon as the water hit the bottom of the wok, it starts to turn into steam. And this method is known as water-based stir-frying. It is actually between stir-frying and steaming. And by adding only a small amount of water, uh, the temperature of the wok is still hot enough that to cause the Maillard reaction to take place. And this will continue to generate flavor molecules on the surface of the food ingredients. So uh, the next ingredients I'm going to add is some okra. I love the crisp texture of the okra, and this is the reason I add the okra almost toward the end of the cooking process. At this point, I start to add more water. 
I'm going to add enough water that I will have standing water at the bottom of the wok. Now I have turned the cooking process uh, into steaming. A steaming is probably the most effective way to soften the texture of the vegetables. Okay, by now the vegetable is almost 80% done. And the final ingredients I'm going to add is some white mushroom. Again, I follow the practice of sequential stir frying. And by adding the mushroom toward the end of the cooking process, uh, I will control the texture of the mushroom uh, so that they will be only lightly cooked. Okay, now the dish is done, uh, I turn off the heat. I'm going to season the dish with some oyster sauce. Uh, this will add savoriness to the dish. And next, I'm going to add about half teaspoon of uh, fried chili in oil sauce. Uh, this by no means will make the dish spicy at all. It only increases the complexity of the flavor of the dish and making it more interesting. Uh, this dish took about 7 minutes to cook. Uh, when you consider that uh, uh, this dish is cooked all from fresh ingredients, uh, this is not bad at all. And with 5 different kinds of vegetables, uh, this dish is very tasty. And not to mention, uh, different kinds of vegetables will give you different nutrients. As almost all nutritionists will agree, that the maximum benefit of nutritional value uh, comes from the diversity of the food ingredients. Uh, with 5 different kinds of vegetables in this dish, uh, this is better than any vitamin pills that you are going to take. So to finish off this dish, the last step that I'm going to do uh, is to put the stick that my son has cooked earlier right over the vegetables. Uh, over the past several years, I have greatly reduced my consumption of red meat. However, I uh, do not stop eating them, and I eat them once in a great while. And I still enjoy the flavor of a piece of good stick. Like with any meat, I treat them more like a condiment. One or two bites in a meal is sufficient for me. Now anyway, I am a strong believer of diversity in our food. I post a video every day to demonstrate my fast cooking system. With flavor chasing, advanced prepping, stir frying, and template based cooking. If you would like to learn more about my cooking system, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will see you tomorrow. Keep on cooking!